Hey folks, Dr. Rob Jones here, HeyDrRob.com and at HeyDrRob on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to share with you a situation that I had clinically here just today, really a situation that I think is extremely egregious. Um, there's a ton of misinformation out there on what the core is, how to train it, and really what to do with the spine when the spine is actually breaking down, when you have a disc injury or a joint is in injury. Specifically, we're gonna talk about the core today, and I'm gonna call this session Protect Your Back 101, simply because if you don't understand how to protect your back, unfortunately, a lot of institutions out there don't know how to protect your back. So you better know, and you better know for your kid's sake, because this case that I'm talking about was a 10 year old in my office today with a broken down disc in her back because her coaches didn't know how to train the core properly. Okay. So again, protect your back 101, name of my book, it'll be out soon. So I'll let you all know when it's ready. But what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about really how the spine functions, what the role of the core really is and what you can do to make sure you're not breaking that down. So let's talk about the spine. So we got Mr. Spine here. Let's talk about the areas of the spine. Okay, so this is the back, this is the front. This area right here is called the lumbar spine. This is the thoracic spine, mid back. This is the cervical spine. For our purposes today, we're talking about the lumbar spine. Now, here's what you need to know about the lumbar spine couple of basic anatomy points here, okay? This is the front. These are the vertebral bodies right here. These opaque things are called the discs. From the side here, these yellow things are the nerves, and these bones back here are the spinous processes, and those are the things you're gonna feel in your back when you poke around. Okay, any time you move, and any time you do anything athletic, you really want the spine in this position that it's in right now. Okay, it's called lordosis. We function best as an upright human when that lordosis is in 35 degrees. Okay, so when you stand, you literally have roughly 35 lordosis unless you, have, unless you have some sort of injury. So really what we need to understand is when you move throughout your day, when you do exercise, when you sit, when you stand, you want to keep that lordosis. The importance of keeping this lordosis is twofold. Number one. These little guys right here, these discs, they have fluid inside of them like a jelly donut. And if you, if I take this disc out and I show it to you top down, it's going to look like this. This is the front and this is the back. Your spinal cord sits right here. Okay. The nerves that exit to go down to your legs come out the side here. Now, I'm a terrible artist, so bear with me. I hope this is okay. The middle of this disc, there is an area called the nucleus pulposus. Right here. It's like jelly. Picture this whole thing like a jelly donut, okay? This part right here is called the annulus fibrosis. And the annulus fibrosis is a, a ring of crisscross ligaments. Again, this is our front. This is the back. That annulus fibrosis is basically your first line of defense to keep that jelly inside the disc. Okay, now what's going to happen is if your spine stays in that 35 degrees lordosis that we talked about, that jelly is not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay put. Okay, if you start moving that spine through a range of motion, like the sit up that we have all done, and probably the reason why we all hurt our backs at some point, when you lay down naturally, your spine will stay in this position. And the reason we want that spine in that position is like I said before, we want that 35 degrees lordosis so that fluid doesn't go anywhere. Picture now you're in your exercise class and your lead instructor says, okay, let's do it. Let's tear up our abs. Let's do some sit-ups. You're going to flatten that spine down. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll it forward and you are going to reverse that lordosis. What you're doing at this point is you are pinching these bones together and you are driving the fluid straight back. So what will happen over time is you will develop 
a little opening on one of the sides of the discs. Again, this is, this is the back right here, and that jelly will start working its way out. Right here is a little disc bulge, okay? And that's enough to give you a pretty good amount of pain. If you continue to do those sit-ups and other things that really round your spine and flex you forward, that disc is going to come out even more, and now you can end up with a disc herniation. If that disc herniation touches on that nerve, you are going to get shooting sciatica down your leg, and it's going to hurt like the devil. So, hopefully, you can learn from this and realize that when you exercise, you want to keep your spine in this position. We don't want to move it out of this position because we don't want to end up with disc herniations. So exercises like crunches, like sit-ups, like burpees, guess what they all do? They all do the exact same thing. They take the spine from its natural range of motion, which is, or natural position, excuse me, lordosis, and they take it through a range of motion called flexion. And flexion takes the spine like this over and over and over again. Yes, it may work your abs a little bit, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna pinch the front of that disc and it's gonna push that fluid out the back. And you're gonna get a lot of pain. So, really what we need to understand is during any type of exercise, we want the spine to stay in this position. Okay, that's number one. Number two, Let's understand the core. So, the core has been the big buzzword over the last 10 years. We gotta work the core, we gotta shred the core. I, I went and did my guts and butts class and, and they shredded my core. Well, I want you all to understand something about the core. The core's job is to stop the spine from moving, okay? So let's write this down. The job of the core is to stop the spine from moving. Exclamation point. The reason I put an exclamation point is think about all the exercises we do. Think about crunches, thinking about sit-ups, thinking about Russian twists and all those other ones that I call backbreakers. They will work your abs and they will work your obliques a little bit, but they move the spine through a range of motion and they take it out of this position where you derive all your structure and all your safety for your discs from. So if you're ever in a class, if you see one of your kids being punished by a coach for, I don't know, a dropped volleyball or whatever they do with their kids or with their, with their athletes, say to your coaches, hey, why don't you go do planks instead, instead of the sit-ups? Because a plank does a great job to keep your spine in this position. So all that musculature we have around the spine the abdominals, the obliques, the lower back. The job of all those muscles is to tense really hard so that spine is locked in place so you can now move through the range of motion of the hips, okay? So I don't want you to think about the spine moving during exercise. I want you to think about the spine being stable in this position, in that safe lordosis. And I want you to think about the core creating a bubble of air. You can see that, there we go. When you tense up all the muscles around your core, you create a tension, a bubble of air, so your spine has something to push against, just like this balloon, okay? When you tension that core, that spine won't move, it's safe, you won't hurt your discs. Let's learn how to do that, it's pretty simple. Let me put Mr. Spine down here. Contrary to what many instructors may tell you, when they tell you to pull your belly button back and flatten your spine down to the ground, it's 100% wrong information, okay? It will break your spine down because when you lay down on the ground and you push your back to the floor like they're telling you to do, what do you do? You flatten the spine out and you take it out of that structural position it needs to be in so those discs don't go anywhere, okay? So when you're on your back and they say, okay, let's, let's do some ab work, and they say, let's flatten that spine and pull the belly button in, I want you to 100% not do that, okay? What I want you to do is just lay flat on your back and let your curve stay in this position because that's natural, that's the curve you're in when you stand. Now, to tension the core is very, very easy. 
I don't want you to draw your navel in because that will only contract a small amount of musculature, what is called your transverse abdominis. And it's, in some people, it's so thin it doesn't do anything. What I want you to think about is I want you to dig your fingers into your abs in the front and then dig your thumbs into your lower back here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to cough <coughs> just like that. And if you can see what my midsection does, <coughs> it tensions out. And when it tensions out, it creates that bubble of air and that tension for that spine to push against. Now that spine is stable. Now you're ready to exercise and not hurt the back. So again, to recap, we always want the spine in this position, okay? If the spine is out of this position and you start flexing it like a sit-up over and over and over again or like a crunch or you bend over to touch your toes, you pump the fluid from the front of the disc to the back of the disc, potentially giving yourself either a bulge, a herniation, sciatica, and all the other pain that it comes with. So for now, from takeaways from this video, two or three things. Keep the spine in this position, okay? Practice, instead of drawing your belly button back, practice tensioning all of this, like you have a belt around you and you're trying to push outward against the belt. If it feels foreign to you because you're used to drawing your navel in, just cough. Put your hands right here and <coughs> cough. Feel that tension, hold it. Now your spine is stable. Now you're ready to exercise. What exercises are we gonna do? I don't know, let's check out the next video and we'll figure that out. So until next time, check me out on Twitter at Hey Dr. Rob. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram at Hey Dr. Rob and check out our website, HeyDrRob.com. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a like, shoot me a comment. Let me know if you think I'm off my rocker or if you like it or if you have any questions about a certain exercise. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to answer your questions. Be healthy all and most importantly, protect your back.